So we're going to look at the difference. We'll be talking about the difference between histamine intolerance and mast cell activation syndrome. So there's some clarity around that. Um, we'll be looking at prepping this, uh, what we have kind of titled uh, in our upcoming cookbook, our prep week, but we're breaking it down. Uh, so it's at a nice, slow, super manageable pace. Um, you'll get a really good clarification of what stage one foods are, what foods are going to be safest. We'll look at batch prepping and you'll have recipes that you're going to experiment with each week to do some batch prep with. Um, which foods you want to be including, which ones you want to be replacing, finding alternatives for. We're going to talk about plant foods, kind of animal versus plant foods. Um, and we have a really good conversation around protein and what kind of protein is going to be best for you. Uh, and we'll also be talking about the wonderful world of fats, these ever important fats that are so important to stabilize uh, mast cell membranes. We're also going to look at budgeting. So for those of you who are pretty conscious about your consumer dollars, we'll have some tips and strategies for you. We're also going to look at sourcing food. So there are some great strategies around sourcing that are a little bit different than just popping into your neighborhood grocery store that are specific to keeping histamine low. What else? We're going to talk about cookware to use in the kitchen. Um, and then a whole bunch of just little tips and lifestyle hacks that, you know, Luke has already mentioned, we're going to touch on those. And we will also be talking about the role of stress in this course, because it is such an important topic. So we need to be introducing that 